I'm right in the middle of the valve job here. I actually, I, I started on them first two and then it hit me that I've got something, I won't say unusual, but something I sure didn't expect to happen on a set of heads that was supposed to have been enlarged for 202, 160, and had the work done to it. Um, best way to do it is to explain it. I've already called Mr. Imhoff just to let him know what's going on. Basically what we got here is we got a situation where the person used a surty machine and went in there and had some kind of special radius that came back out about 15 or, or 20 degrees. I mean, it is enlarged for the 160 on the top part, but not down here. The best way to explain this is to show you the numbers. We know that this right here was supposed to have been cut for a 160, and as you can see on the top, it is. But, tells another story. This is my snap. Look here, that's my tight point right there. All right. Come over here. It won't even go in here. I've already spent the better part of several minutes with the 60 degree stone digging it out. And as you can see, it won't even fit here, period. But I finally got to go through. Now, guess what that measurement is? And I know a lot of you going to go, wow, how does that work? Let's check it out first. You see it? Now... Zero it out. Look at our numbers. 1.324. Now, if we go over here and hit this one, which is the way the head come to me, 1,300. That's the whole diameter. Now, the problem I have with that Here's the valve. Here's some here's some locator uh, pointer. Now looky there. That's just about where the seat's going to be. Pretty close. Now look at this. <laughs> All right. Basically, <coughs> here we put a one six hundred valve in it. And the damn size of the hole that's going in there ain't even 1,300. Why the hell would you put 1,600 valves in there when the hole size is at? Because no matter what you do, the only thing you're going to see here is a 1,300 diameter. The airflow don't see the valve. It sees this hole right here. Now... I'd say probably 70% of machine shops, when they enlarge for bigger valves, this is what you get. Now, this is where the porting comes in. In order to make the bigger valve work, you have to port it. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue on because I'm about to run out of tape. I wanted to leave it like this. I'm going to show you bumping them for 45s and scribing them. We're going to come back to this turkey right here. This is the number two chamber next to the number three uh, that's something else that killed me he labeled them one two three four like a four instead of one three five seven but hell that don't matter that, that's regardless but we're going to re-examine this right here and look at this because this is a story it needs to be told basically he should have kept the 150 valve in it it would have flowed more air all right